Hello there, my name is Katie and I am with Solo Wood Flowers. Today we are going to be showing you how to make a bridesmaid bouquet. We have a few different types of filler and of course our wood flowers. Here we just have a variety of wood flowers. We also have an assortment of dyes and our Sola softener. Floral tape, of course. The bowl we're going to use to dye our flowers. Add a little bit of water in there. You may want to test this out before to make sure you can get your colors right. Go ahead and add some Sola softener. And then you're going to add your dye color of choice. You can add as much or as little dye as you'd like. The more dye you use, the more vibrant your colors will be. The less dye, you'll have a more subtle color. You want to make sure that you stir up your dye, softener, and water mixture really well. You want to make sure everything is combined. Now you're going to go ahead and dip your flowers in. Make sure they're saturated thoroughly. That way you can get all of the petals dyed the color you want. Shake off any excess water and set it aside to dry. In this video, we're using a toothpick to go ahead and dye the flowers. It's just a little bit cleaner. You can wear gloves, you can do it without gloves, whatever you prefer. All right, now we are almost ready to build our bouquet. Our flowers have been dyed and they've been allowed to dry and we are ready to add some stems. We just take a little bit of glue, put it on the back of your stem, then push the stem through the back of the flower. You want to make sure you push the stem into the back of the flower far enough that the flower is not going to pop off, but not so far that the stem pokes through the other side of the flower. We're adding a little bit of glue right directly onto the stem. You can put a little dot on the back of the flower. Um, if you have a glue pot, you can use that as well. This is just the easiest method that we've found. Now that all our flowers are stemmed, we are ready to start building. Go ahead and start arranging your flowers. You want to make sure that you're arranging the flowers however you see fit. If you want your purples bunched together and your pinks spread out, that's fine. Here we're going to go ahead and spread our flowers out as equally as possible as far as our colors go. We're going to kind of mix it up with our more orangey colors, spread the purples out a little bit. Now we're going to go ahead and tape those stems together. You want to make sure you tape the stems together nice and tight. If you don't, you're going to lose the shape of your bouquet that you worked really hard on. Now time for my favorite part, adding the filler. Separate your filler into smaller bunches. It's going to make it a lot easier for you. It just makes it a little bit more manageable. I'm going to tuck that filler in between your flowers wherever you would like it to go. We just spread the flowers out just a little bit and squeeze that filler in. Once you have all your filler added, you're going to want to add more tape. Hold that filler in with your bouquet so you're not losing that. On to our next filler. This is our baby's breath in the champagne glitter. This will work for any filler that you're using. These are just pretty common fillers that we have and are in a lot of our kits, so that's why we're showing these ones. Same thing, just tuck that filler wherever you'd like it to go. As you can see here, we're kind of adding the filler to the base of the bouquet. This is just helping hide those stems just a little bit. And now we're going to tape again. Hold all that filler that we just added right in place, right where we put it. It's not going to move around and ruin all the hard work that you've just done. Now it's time to finish off our bouquet. You want to go ahead and trim your stems and the ends of your filler. You want to make sure you leave enough length so that you have a good handle to hold on to, but you just want to even it up and trim it down just a little bit.
Now we're going to go ahead and add our twine. This is going to create a great candle for us to hold on to when we're using the bouquet, as well as able to cover up that tape there. Just so it's not showing, um, you want to make sure that that's all covered. Just wrap it around. You can do as much or as little as you want. Just enough that you have a good handle to hold on to and that green tape gets covered up. Trim the end of that twine. We're just gonna glue down that little tail that's left from trimming. And there is your beautiful bridesmaid bouquet. If you have any questions, you can always send an email to info at solowithflowers.com or hop on our live chat or phone support. Our customer service team is awesome and they have been highly trained and they are ready to help you with whatever questions you have. We hope you have a wonderful day and happy crafting.